guys, it's New Music Tuesday and I actually just want to talk. I have some thoughts. This is going to be an actual vlogative vlog vlog. There's no structure to it this time. I just want to say some stuff. And well though, that's a lie. There is some structure. There's just a little bit of structure and the structure is I have a topic. Here's the topic, boy bands. Boy bands, I mean, they're everywhere. For a while, there was a lull, there weren't that many. I think after NSYNC died, it just kinda took a turn for like the worst at that point. Um, sure, there were groups that popped up, groups that I'm sure I can't even remember, the, what, the Click Five, um, so on and so forth. I mean, was 98 Degrees even relevant? Like, are people, are you really excited about this 98 Degrees Boys to Men tour that's happening? Like, I don't even know. I would love to know the story of how those two groups hooked up. I would really like to know how that even happened. Did, like, Sean Stockton and, like, Nick Lachey get together on the sing-off and they were like, hey, dude, let's 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 hook it up let's go on tour together because we're still relevant don't get me wrong boys to men i love y'all but y'all are no longer relevant um you're great if you come back and do a reunion tour with the other fourth member i am so going to watch you on television i would not pay money to go and sit unless you were um no, I'm not even gonna lie. I wouldn't pay money. I'd watch it on TV. I just kind of want to talk about boy bands. Sorry, I already got off on a tangent. Like I said, there's no real structure to this. I listed a bunch of boy bands that I thought I should mention. I've already mentioned NSYNC, 98 Degrees. Backstreet Boys were my ultimate boy band. They were my favorite. I loved Kevin Richardson. I actually got a chance to see him here in Kansas City last November with his family he was there for um our what are what's called our plaza Christmas lighting ceremony and I happened to be there and he was there and I almost died because I could not breathe when I saw him but yeah that's neither here nor there um yeah 98 degrees new kids on the block who was never really my favorite group even though um Jordan Knight and Joy McIntyre were hot Joy McIntyre had that like baby boy, boy eye, blue eye boy look going on. He's always been, he always has looked really, really young for his age. So Joey, mwah, hey boo. Does anyone remember NLT? Do you guys remember NLT? Like I don't even remember. That's where Travis Garland came from. That's where Dude in the Wheelchair from Glee came from. And there was like one or two other people. There were two more. I can't remember their names. I don't know what they're doing anymore. One of them has a brother that was in... Savani, that's their last name, I think. That was in like Step Up, one of the Step It Up, Step Up with Channing Tatum movies. I think he was in like one or two of them. So yeah, whatever happened to them? Like I think something happened with their album where their deal fell through or something and then they just no longer, they didn't come out with any albums. Like Timbaland was working with them and then they just disappeared off the face of the planet. They had two songs that I really love. What, That Girl and then He Said, She Said or She Said or whatever. I loved them they were great I was so excited to see them come out and they just never did and Travis Garland babe either you're gonna come out with an album or you're just gonna go sit down I just need that to happen I need a decision to be made about you I you, you just disappear for months at a time and then you come out with some random song or a random mixtape and I just don't know what to do with you I don't know how to file you in my musical catalog in my mind I don't know where to file you so I need you to Figure that out for me, please. Thanks. One Direction and The Wanted. Who the heck is The Wanted? I still don't know. Are they British? Are they from England too? Are, are they from here? Like, I don't, I don't even know anything about them. I just know that they popped up on my screen one time and I was confused as all get out. One Direction, you guys know how I feel about One Direction. I could sit here and burst into flames from talking about them because they were just it for me right now. Um, the early 2000s, late 90s were Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, mainly Backstreet Boys. Now, it is all about 1D. I don't care what anybody says. Okay. Did you guys hear all the shiz that's going on between One Direction and The Wanted? Like, 
Apparently One Direction made a joke about The Wanted at their concert in London recently and one of the dudes, I don't even know their names, from The Wanted got all up in flames and pissed about it. And um, they started tweeting back and forth and somebody called Louis, my boo. Yes, I know he has gay face. I know Louis has gay face according to Grace Helbig from Daily Grace. But don't come up on my boo like that. Do not. And they were just going back and forth saying blah, blah, blah. Louis is arrogant and they're not talented and blah, 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 blah. They're overrated, yada, yada, yada. And so they were duking it out back and forth. And then Liam stepped in and was duking it out. And then Harry's girlfriend came in. Not Harry's. Harry doesn't have a girlfriend. Oops. Um, Louis's girlfriend came in and was like, do, 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 womp, womp, womp. And then one of the wanted guys, girlfriends came out, what do, 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 womp, womp, womp. And they was just going back and forth. It's just a bunch of crap. I call it publicity stunt um, because... I'm gonna be honest like the wanted are so irrelevant like they they aren't even worth anything I'm pretty sure the wanted has some fans and that's all great and dandy but I hear One Direction at least once every day and I hear the wanted like once every other month so yeah I know that's a pretty harsh slam on the wanted and anybody that are wanted the wanted fans I'm sorry that's just my opinion don't come at me because I'm not here for it. I'm just not. Okay, and then there's this new group called the Vamps. I don't even know who they are, but I saw a picture and I'm all about it. I don't even know what they sing. I don't even know, hold on. That's what I'm eating, these are so good. Mm. I love sour stuff. I don't even know. I've never heard a song from them. I just saw a picture of them one day and I was like, yep, check it. I love it. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and see who they are. Let me hear a cover song. I cannot stop eating these things. They have over 166,000 subscribers on YouTube. Oh, and they're UK, they're British. Oh my god, and they're young. Only Okay, at least two of them are legal. The other two are jailbait. Which would get me in trouble. Let me see. Okay, that's a bad choice because right now, is he like the only lead singer? Do they not have like their own thing? Mm. So far, I'm not impressed by the vamps. They're just cute. So yeah, like, I don't even know. I don't think that the concept of boy bands are gonna evolve. Oh, and there's Bailey. I don't really think, yeah, that's his tail. I don't really think the concept of boy bands is gonna like evolve or anything. I don't think, I think now it's like almost superficial. I mean, sure they're fun. Like I said, I love One Direction. I love them. And I think they're talented. And yes, I think they're incredibly hot. But um, when I think of like influential boy bands, I think of like New Edition, I think of Boys to Men. I think of older groups like The Temptations, The Stylistics. Um, I even think of like the Beastie Boys and, you know, groups like that. Don't get me wrong, there are a lot of inf um, influential groups today. But like, I think a lot of times there's like so much publicity that's going on around it. Like this whole The Wanted um, One Direction like beef, like fight thing. That's rain. There's just no point to it. And I think it's just silly. Like... I don't even know what the point of that whole thing is. Like, I don't know why are Boyz II Men in 98 Degrees going on tour? Like, what are they hoping to do? What what are, what are you doing? Like, what's your point? I don't know. I just feel like there needs to be a point to what you're doing. And right now, I don't think there's a point. Maybe One Direction and The Wanted are doing this thing. Maybe it's some kind of stunt because One Direction is coming out with their, um, their, um, 
movie soon, which I will be going to see. And The Wanted just needs to have some relevance. And the only way that they can have relevance is to be involved with One Direction in some kind of way. I don't know. It just makes me wonder, like, just thinking about all these boy bands. Isn't it funny how, like, boy bands from, like, 10, 20, even 30 years ago held so much more stock and influence and legend status than the boy bands today? Like I said, I'm not saying that they're not popular and I'm not, I'm not saying that they're not good. I just feel like they represent something different. We're in a different time, you know? There's no, it's not good and it's not bad, it just is. So I'm just looking at, I don't know why this is something that I felt like I wanted to talk about. But yeah, I just found it really, really interesting. Just all these different groups. It's just so funny to me how all their journeys and all their musical interpretations and their inspirations and their fan bases are so different. Like I think that The Wanted and One Direction, like yeah, they're butting heads. But could you imagine like the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC like slamming each other and like butting heads and like going toe to toe with each other back in the 90s, early 2000s, like Backstreet Boy fans and NSYNC fans were so hardcore intense that wars could have literally been started over who was the better band, you know? <laughs> like, it's, it's really, really interesting. We have such an affinity for like British bands, Hello the Beatles, that I wonder if like British people have like the same affinity for like American boy bands. I know they did with the Backstreet Boys. I know the Backstreet Boys were huge in the UK. I don't know about NSYNC. I didn't know enough about their history and where they came from, but I know the Backstreet Boys history. Like I know where they came from. I know their grind and their struggle because I followed them that intensely. But uh, yeah, it's interesting to learn how other countries perceive our boy bands versus how we perceive other countries boy bands especially the UK. I think it's the accents let's not lie the accents has a lot to do with it but yeah just boy bands are just an interesting musical concept for me an interesting thing and so I just wanted to talk about it I just wanted to share some thoughts and let I wanted to let you guys inside my brain this is what I think about like these are the things I think about which is the most random thing ever but yeah, like I said, this video had zero structure today. There was no purpose for it. There was no concept for it. It was just me just yammering on about something that I've been thinking about. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it even made sense. Uh, so yeah, just leave a comment down below if you want me to continue doing something like this or if you want me to just shut the hell up and go back to how I used to do New Music Tuesdays because this isn't technically new music. Let me give you some new music. Um, this artist I've been following, Kat Parsons, her album came out today. So go check it out. That's all the new music I got for you this week. And those are my thoughts on boy bands. Uh, I guess I will see you guys next week for n another episode of New Music Tuesday. I don't even know what the topic is yet. If you want to make some suggestions, comment on down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the continuation of Vita, Veda, Vuda, Vada, whatever.